factor, you know. Get ready to check out my amazing tracking ability. I once wandered the sewers under the Hellfire Club's New York building for hours. This will be a piece of cake. Really curious to see what the Red Skull's so interested in down there. I gotta say, if this whole chase turns out to be for the buried gold, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. You ever hear the expression, transients for lovers? No. According to the map, the way into these tunnels is in a ravine at the base of the mountain. We can bring you right up to the entrance. Beautiful. I can take it from there. I'll have you know I'm indulging your desire to follow this map. Don't say I never gave you anything. After this, I won't even expect a card from you on my birthday. How can this be? It seems we have been walking in circles for hours. It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> Relax. You were close. You said that after your last sniff. And I was right. Seen better. Ambush. This is a slaughter. No kidding. They were trying to get inside that vault. I don't believe in coincidences. Which means. Project Gutermorder. I bet my life on it. So did they. Guess Hydra just dropped a rung or two on the bad guy food chain. Maybe so. Still. This Lillian feels different somehow. Feral. You sniff that out. We can debate the house and wise later. Get that vault open before more of these things show up. Too late for that. That is one way of describing it. I'd be more concerned with how it fights, not how it smells. Easy for you to say. It's not breathing down your neck. something. Just what I need. Now it's Keep some for the rest of us. No 
complaints here. since the war. Old Johan was probably hoping to hide out here if things went south. I guess he didn't make it. We have our hands full as it is without having to worry about Red Skull too. Too weak for this fight. One that makes an old dog joke gets diced.
not shaken their confidence. Hydra had that place sealed up tight. So where are those things coming from? The way they move, these Lilin may have come from beyond our world. The walls are no obstacle to them. Just when I thought I'd smelled it all. You sure about that? by now. These things aren't that tough. If you are the man with the claws, do something about it. Should do the trick. really did hide his ultimate weapon here.
Temple of Cthulhu. Not what I'm talking about. Better brace yourselves. <laughs> That's a real mean guard dog they got for this place. You need to look for a way out. You can't beat him in a straight fight. We'll either figure something out or die trying. You sure know how to rally the troops, Logan. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. I call. game of cat and mouse not so enjoyable when you are the prey is it hunter at least we are still in the hunt <laughs>
survive another encounter with me. like old times. So what are you doing here? Do you see the glow of Wondergore? The time is almost at hand. Always some doomsday prophecy or ancient evil with you guys. I'm gonna make you this man. Welcome assistance. No mercy for the servants of the Their strongest has fallen, but the fight remains. You are not ready for I wish I could tell you we had some kind of air support or evac on the way. That would be too easy. You'll leave when Mother says so, not before. We will finish them together.
about time. <laughs> you know that's not enough. Together we our only chance. That ain't a chance, kid. It's a monster. So come on, ugly. Let's finish this. Finish this, Logan. <laughs> yes, I will. Come to the forge when you can. It's urgent. Nice work out there, bub. Okay, cut the bull, Stark. I know you've got some kind of Hulk buster up your sleeve. Let's have it. Well, as a matter of fact, I do have some Hulk buster armor back in one of my warehouses, but it's only a stopgap, not a solution. Especially with the Hulk in his current state. So a smart guy like you never bothered to come up with a fail-safe in case the green chunk ever went psycho? We found the most effective way to control Hulk was Banner himself. There is no better fail-safe. Now that Banner's gone screwy, nothing, no plan for when things got really tough? There are always plans, Logan. Sending him off-world, perhaps? Outer space? That's really the best you could come up with? I don't see you coming up with anything better. I'm raising a warning now. When the time comes and we don't have an easy solution, I'm ready to take the hard path. And you'd better be prepared to follow me. Team Emo Kids for the win. Yes? Hi. Thank you for coming, Hunter. I need to talk to you about the artifact from the Red Skull's vault. The occult emanations coming from this god killer are unlike anything I have ever encountered. When I gripped it, I saw a face. The face of Cthon. Mm, yes, I suspected as much. The darkness I sense here is beyond the realm of mortals. It's no surprise Red Skull was seeking that level of power. This is more than just an artifact. But whatever it is could represent a change in the direction of our battle against Lilith. The best way to understand power is to wield it. It is called God Killer for a reason. And what if that power consumes you and turns you against us? What if this thing was really a trap designed to ensnare the power mad and foolish? I do not know. Hmm. And we cannot take that chance. I think 
the safest option is to keep it here in the forge for a bit longer, at least until I've had a chance to study it more. I don't think anyone should handle it until we know what it is for sure. Very well. And how long do you think that will take? Well, I think the world will be ending soon, so hopefully before that. I need to consult my grimoires. Check back with me when you can. Good girl, Charlie. <laughs> When I woke up this morning, the Red Skull was the furthest thing from my mind. Yet now it seems he's a key player, even from beyond the grave. In my experience, the grave is but a way station, not a destination. Every time I think I've got my mind wrapped around this conflict, I get thrown a curveball. You are trying too hard to grasp it. That is the problem. You will never understand. Hey, cut me a little slack, Hunter. I've been around a while and I've seen some things. I think I can make sense of what's going on with Red Skull and Lilith. My mother's ambitions began long before you existed, and the forces at play even predate her. This is not just good and bad. It is reality versus the Abyss. Kind of a bleak outlook, don't you think? We just retrieved an ancient artifact called the God Killer that was in the possession of a man whose head resembled a red skull. Things have been bleak for a long time. I'd hope the Red Skull's death would help bring about a brighter world. I guess I was wrong. Earlier, you mentioned the Red Skull was drawn to the occult. Like a fly to a rotting carcass. How much do you know about World War II? I did not realize there was a World War I. I'll just sum it up. Red Skull was a man whose ambition knew no limits. And when our world didn't give him enough, he looked beyond it for even more power. A very dangerous man indeed. And we're all safer that he's no longer among the living. I do not know if anyone ever thanks you for your service, but allow me to tell you thanks. I'm just doing my job. And you were very good at it. Otherwise, I imagine this world would have fallen into an even worse situation long ago. It's true. I prevented the Red Skull from harming the world countless times. But there's not much time to rest on my laurels. There's always another Red Skull coming around the corner. I wonder how the Red Skull came to share my mother's obsession with Cthon anyway. Oh, I'm sure he tried to find your mother to help him. All part of his Project Gutmorder. My mother never would have allowed him to share her power. Well, I don't think he got that blade just to put it under glass, if you know what I mean. He planned to use it all right. Now we just need to figure out why Crossbones wanted me to have it. Whatever the Red Skull wanted with that weapon, it wasn't good. What's troubling you, Sarah? The hilt of the God Killer. It looks familiar. What is this about the God Killer? The hilt? It looks a lot like the metal your collar is forged from. Or Chalcum. How can that be? I'm not sure it is. It's just a hunch. Strange should examine it. See if my hunch is right. Because if it is, the God Killer might be our best shot at taking my sister's life, putting an end to all this madness. Is that not what we all want? An end to this? There's only 2.5 members of the Blood left in all creation, Hunter. If we... when we defeat her, my only sister will be dead, and our kind will be nearly extinct. If that is the price of peace, so be it. I know, but still, she is my sister. And my mother. We must not have any reservations about what we are about to do. Ah, 
I raised you well. You raised me to be a weapon. I raised you to be who you are, to serve your purpose, and I'm proud of you for fully embracing it. I appreciate that, Sarah. <sighs> Perhaps we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves too much. We're not even sure the handle of that blade is made of orichalcum. Strange will find out. Make sure he does. Thank <laughs> you.